compound interest formula and the recurrence relation for compound interest, they're essentially the same thing. Same with these two here. Those two formulas are essentially the same thing, and these two formulas are essentially the same thing. So the main thing to remember is that recurrence relation should be used for short-term investments, annuity formulas and compound interest should be used for long-term investments, but regardless, either formula can be used. Now, let's just talk a little, a little bit about the annuities formulas. So an easy way to remember which formula to select, notice that if N is positive, then that means that the total amount is increasing. So that would be linked to an annuity question where someone was making regular deposits. And the regular, de and the regular deposits are actually just the M value in this situation. And then for the second formula, since there's a negative in front of the N, that means that the total amount is going down. So the second formula here is linked to reducing balance loans, where instead of using capital R as the repayment amount, M is actually the repayment amount. In the next video, we're gonna do some more examples with the annuity formulas, and I wanna really just show you how you can actually use either formula, and they're the same thing. But it's just easier to use the annuity formulas for long-term investments and recurrence relations for shorter-term investments.